Stephen here from History Hustle and I'm standing here in cold and windy Copenhagen, Denmark here in front of the Castellet Fortress. In this video I want to talk about Denmark during the Second World War. In 1864 there was a so-called Second Schleswig War. It was a war between Denmark and Prussia over the control of the territory Schleswig and Holstein. Denmark lost and therefore lost the territories. After the First World War, Denmark got a little piece of Schleswig back, the northern part, because of the Treaty of Versailles. Now, with the rise of Adolf Hitler, Denmark was in a dangerous situation. Denmark was again neutral. And when Adolf Hitler offered Denmark a non-aggression pact in 1939, Denmark willingly accepted this pact. But as we know from history and also from some other pacts, non-aggression pacts with Nazi Germany aren't worth that much. Because on the 9th of April 1940, Nazi Germany invaded Denmark anyhow. Because Denmark was on the route to Norway. Some skirmishes between the Danish army and the German army did took place, but the Danish government surrendered within six hours. Now, without downplaying the seriousness of the situation, there can be said that Denmark suffered a relatively light occupation during the Second World War. This is mostly to do with the race view of the Nazis. See, Danish people were simply seen as fellow Aryans. Because of the quick surrender of the Danish government, their government stayed somewhat intact, also with King Christian X serving as a head of state. Now, don't think that the Danes supported the Germans or collaborated with the Germans en masse. No, they did not. One thing the Danish government refused to carry out were discriminating laws against its Jewish minority. Eventually, the Danish Jews got evacuated to neutral Sweden with the help of Danish resistance fighters as well as many other civilians. 99% of the Danish Jewish population survived the Holocaust, an extraordinary amount. As the war progressed and Nazi Germany was losing on many fronts, the relations between the Danes and the Germans became more and more sour. We see an increase of resistance activities and these activities became more and more violent. So did the German reprisals for that. And in August 1943, the Nazis carried out martial law. And from that point on, Denmark was, like many other European nations, a fully occupied country. Especially the last months of the Second World War were fairly grim here in Denmark, with countless resistant activities and brutal German reprisals. Also, many German refugees that came from Eastern Prussia to flee the advance of the Red Army arrived here in Denmark and the Danish population was fairly hostile towards them. Many Danish doctors refused to give these people medical aid. And so, many of these German non-combatants died from malnutrition and disease. One grim detail I do have to mention was the recruitment of countless German ex-soldiers, mostly youngsters, to sweep the coastal lines to clear these areas of mines. And many of them died or got wounded by this. Denmark during the Second World War, a country that was overrun within a few hours, cooperated with the Germans, refused to hand over his Jews, therefore saved many of them and suffered a fairly light occupation. Needless to say, it had its casualties. If you want to know more about a country that also refused to hand over its Jews, check out the video I made about Bulgaria during the Second World War. Do not forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. If you have any comments, leave them down below, subscribe on my channel, and until next time.